Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we'll be unboxing a booster box of Dominaria. So a new set comes out today, um, or if you're watching this in the future, it's already out. Um, so yeah, we shall just get cracking. 36 boosters in the box. Um, let's just have a look at what we get. There. And I'm just going to immediately get cracking because you're all here to see the cards. Uh, so got Gaia's Protector, uh, Divest, Tolarian Scholar, Tragic Poet, Radiating Lightning, Mammoth Spider, Kelden Raider, Ancient Animus, Navigator's Compass, Blink of an Eye, and that's all our commons. Then Nature's Spiral, Fight with Fire, Chainer's Torment. Um, so, cool thing about the set is. Uh, we get sagas now, so sagas have the, the whole law counter thing, so when you play it, you put one law counter on it, trigger the first stage of the saga. After your draw step, another counter goes on it, you trigger a second stage, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of interaction with sagas in the set, and some of them are pretty good. And, wow, not bad. Uh, Mythic, straight up. So, Jura, with Light Captain. So, um, is it colours? Two are blue and a red um, for legendary human artificer. Whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. Uh, so artifacts, legendaries, and sagas are historic. So we we'll probably see quite a lot of artifact-based decks in this set. Um, just that's the way the meta is going to go, really. I think um, some of the artifacts are pretty good, and some of the stuff that triggers historic, um, like off historic cards. Like the payoff cards, they're well worth it. So, yep, really nice card to get. Then we've got a mountain and a sapling, because saplings are back. So, good start. Hope it continues. So, Arbor Armament, Stronghold Confessor, um, Artificer's Assistant, Sergeant Arms, Fervent Strike, Lanarels. Lanarels is back, yay. Um, interestingly, it just says tap add green instead of add green to your mana pool. Uh, Macy Unicorn, Short Sword, Shivan Fire, and on to Uncommons. We've got Knight of Grace, Jura's Familiar, Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive, uh, got a Cabal Stronghold as our rare, uh, which is pretty good land if you play mono black, um, where you can tap it to add colors, or pay three, tap it and add black for each basic swamp you control. So, only really going to be used to like maximum effect in mono black, but still pretty good. Then we've got uh, Forest, got a Foil Wind Grace Acolyte. Uh, the foiling, I uh, know you can't really tell from the video, but the foiling is uh, quite a lot better in this set than it has been in the last few years. Uh, there's like different coating on the card, they don't bend as much, and yeah, just the, the foiling looks a lot nicer. Okay, actually get into that path. Move that there, foils there, and then put the mythic on its own. It's got Adventurous Impulse, uh, Feral Abomination, Relic Runner, Healing Grace, Radiating Lightning, Crozen Druid, Sapling Migration, Avon Sentry, and Academy Drake, and Deathbloom Thalid. We've got Imbolus's Clutches, one of the most annoying cards to play against in Limited. Uh, Shield of the Realm, Garner the Blood Flame. Um, so there is like one legendary creature in each pack as well, which is kind of cool. And then Hinterland Harbor. So not the most exciting, but solid card nonetheless. You're gonna go Island and an Elemental Token. Valid Omnivore. Artificer's Assistant, Davenant Trapper, Kelden Warcaller, Crocent Druid, Rampaging Cyclops, Blessed Light, Sapling Migration, Kelden Overseer, and then Curator's Ward, Memorial to Unity, Halar the Fire Fletcher. It's quite a cool card. Um, whenever you cast a spell, if it was kicked, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and then it deals damage equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on it to each opponent. Um, so build a kicker deck. This works well. And then Thran, Temporal Gateway. Um, so four, and it, it's, yeah, 
it's one of these cards where you just pay for and dump something from your hand onto the battlefield at reduced cost, um, as if they didn't learn from Kaladesh block. And then Weight of Memory in Foil, which again looks pretty nice. Some of the pre-release foils are amazing looking as well. Some of the sagas especially. Uh, I've got Fervent Strike, Gas Protector, uh, Blessing of Bells and Knock, uh, Tolerant Scholar, Excavation Elephant, Warlord's Fury, Voltaic Servant, uh, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Wind Grace Acolyte, and Gideon's Reproach, then Elfheim Druid, Juggernaut, and Juggernaut's back as well, which is cool, uh, Curator's Ward, and Ariel, Knight of Wind Grace, as our rare. So, two, a white and a black for a legendary human knight with vigilance, and you can basically build your board up with it. So white and two to create a 2-2 two -two white knight with vigilance. Black and tap to tap X untapped knights you control, destroy target creature with power X or less. It's pretty good, and it's just a 4-4 four, four for four, at worst, with vigilance as well. So, you know, you're not gonna complain at that. packs are tough to get into. Um, got Primordial Worm, Demonic Vigor, Coldwater Snapper, Tragic Poet, Keldon Warcaller, Corrosive Ooze, Navigator's Compass, Fungal Infection, Guardians of Koilos, Keldon Overseer, and then onto Uncommons, we've got Champion of the Flame, Seal Away, this is going to seal our play probably, um, two mana for a flash enchantment that exiles tapped creature and opponent controls. Um, pretty solid. And then Baird, Steward of Archive. And then our second mythic, we have Moldrotha, the Gravetide. Um, solid card. Um, I managed to make this work and have this played against me at pre-release uh, to, to good effect. So three, a black, a green, and a blue for an elemental avatar, which is a 6-6. Six, six. So 6-6 six, six for 6. Um, with fairly tough colours to get out. Uh, during each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's probably going to see a lot of play in Commander. I mean, there's a chance it will see play in Standard as well. It's a little slow compared to some of the decks that will be coming out of this uh, format, but nonetheless, could be fun. Uh, Drudge Sentinel, got a Voldalian. Arcanist. I'm not saying half these words properly. Knight of New Benalia, uh, Seismic Shift, Adventurous Impulse, Dark Bargain, um, Ace Theer Glider. That's a tough one to pronounce. Academy Journey Mage, Run Amok, Blood, Ta Blood Tallow Candle, and onto Uncommons we've got Sanctum Spirit, Juris Familiar, Danitha, Compassion Paragon, and a Dread Shade, so three black for a three three shade. You can pay black and it gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Um, pretty good if you pair it with uh, Cabal Stronghold. Um, you just get all of the black. I mean, that three black to cast it, it's, uh, it's gonna be tough to get it off in any non-mono black deck, but so any two cover deck could struggle. Uh, you kinda wanna play on turn three. So Caligo Skin Witch Opt. Opt is back with a nice new Tefiri artwork. Uh, Banalish Honor Guard, Gitu Lava Runner, Grow from the Ashes, Cabal Evangel, Pardic Wanderer, Fiery Intervention, Blessed Light, and Sparring Construct. Then we've got Wild Onslaught, Champion of Flame, Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. I love this card. It's just a five mana, nine three. <laughs> and why not? And it's legendary. Then we've got Daring Archaeologist as our rare, so three and a white for a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you may return a target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. That's just solid. And whenever you cast a historic spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So it kind of fuels itself by getting the stuff back, and then you can play it again, and it's just a good card, really. Soul Salvage, Befuddle, Charge. Bloodstone Goblin, Lanawa Envoy, Deep Freeze, Sparring Construct, Avon Sentry, Eviscerate, and onto Uncommons we've got Cast Down, which is just going to be probably the solid removal 
of the set, even though there's a lot of uh, legendary creatures that this won't work on, but, you know, it works on everything else. Then we've got Damping Sphere, another one that might see quite a lot of play, um, especially in modern, uh, against Tron, because if a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces colourless instead of any other type and a mount. So pretty good. And each spell a player, co player casts costs one more to cast for each other spell that player has cast this turn. So it's going to be a good tech card. And we've got Adelis the Cinderwind and Blackblade Reforged. Nice. Um, this was pretty good in Limited, to be honest. Uh, curious to see how it works out in Constructed, but two mana uh, for legendary artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each land you control. And it costs 3 to equip to a legendary creature, or 7 to equip to anything else. Uh, and if you're equipping it for 7, that's at least plus 7 plus 7. So, not bad. There you go. Mountain, and a nice foily Voltaic Servant, which could actually see a fair bit of play in the artifact, like historic artifact deck, because at the beginning of your end step, untap target artifact. Um, yeah, it, it could be good. There's quite a few combos you can get off with that. Oh my god, that pack. That does not want to open. Alright, we have Homerid Explorer, Dub, Fervent Strike, Guy's Protector, Blessing of Bells and Lock, Talarian Scholar, Fungal Infection, Gift of Growth, Skittering Surveyor, and then Board the Weatherlight, Wizard's Lightning. This is going to see some play in Standard if there's a Wizard's deck floating around, which, to be fair, there could well be. There's a lot of good wizards. So it's basically Bolt in standard, um, if you control a wizard. Other than that, it's just three mana deal three. And we've got Slimefoot the Stowaway, another excellent card um, in the Sapperling deck. It will be like a two or three of, if people are playing Sapperlings, and people should be playing Sapperlings. Sapperlings are hilarious. Um, so three mana, two, three, and when a Sapperling dies, it deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. And he's just, solid sapling generator as well um, as a mana sink and we've got Primeval's Glorious Rebirth which is a trap um, 7 mana legendary sorcery so you can only cast it if you control a, a legendary creature or planeswalker and return all legendary permanent cards from a graveyard to the battlefield if you have multiples of the same name they'll obviously trigger enter the battlefield effects and then just go on to die again um, thanks to legendary rule you get to keep one of them um, and Quende, Pride of Femoreth. Femoreth, yes, Femoreth. Um, four mana, two, two, double strike, creature to control with first strike, half double strike. It's pretty good and looks very nice and foil. Uh, unwind, Adamant, Will, uh, Warlord's Fury, Mammoth Spider, Stronghold Confessor, Cobalt Snapper, Call the Cavalry. Academy Drake, it's here, Glider, and I can't pronounce that one, uh, Divination. Then onto Uncommons, we've got Time of Ice. Um, been having a discussion about this card, whether it's actually going to see standard play. If it was three mana, it would be disgustingly good. At four mana, you kind of feel like it needs to do a little bit more, weirdly. It's in, it's in that weird kind of spot where, yeah, one one fewer mana would would be too broken but four is a little bit too much. Um, I have the opinion that step two should be like tap two target creatures. Um, but anyway, solid card. Cast down, uh, Tiana, Ship's Caretaker, and then Precognition Field is our rare, so four mana, enchantment, look at the top card of your library. You may do this at any time. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of time wasting with this. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. And you can pay three to exile the top card of your library. So, pretty good. I mean, you can. It gets you to your uh, win conditions faster. Uh, you can just exile the stuff you don't need. Might be good for combo decks. Uh, Cabal Evangel, Syncopate, uh, Serra Disciple, Skirk Prospector, Grow from the Ashes, Rat Colony. Rat Colony, yay. Um, so, two mana, two one, and it's kind of like Relentless Rats. Uh, gets like rat colony gets plus one plus oh for each other rat you control and the deck can have as many cards named rat colony uh, lanor elves vicious offering keldon overseer blessed light 
and Orcish Vandal, Thalid Soothsayer, Tetsuko, and a Woodland Cemetery. Nice. Excavation Elephant, Warlord's Fury, Primordial Worm, Demonic Vigor, Coldwater Snapper, Tragic Poet, Avon Sentry, Rampaging Cyclops, Deep Freeze, Pegasus Corsa, and Urza's Tomb, uh, or Tome, Diligent Excavator, The Flame of Keld, and Teshar Ancestors, Apostle, so 4 mana 2 2 with Flying, uh, Legendary Creature. As, all, as you can tell from the nice border. Um, whenever you cast a historic spell, retar return a target creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Um, could be an interesting like deck built around that. I mean, recursion. I mean, not a whole lot to say about it really. It's, it's a two, three, four, four. Um, with upside. Uh, Davenant Trapper gives you Lava Runner. Lanor Envoy, Divest, Opt, Skittering Surveyor, Baloth Gorger, Jousting Lance, Eviscerate, Fungal Plots, uh, that we're onto uncommons already, uh, Fungal Plots, Urza's Tomb, Final Parting, and Naban, Dean of Iteration, so 2 mana, 2-1, two, Legendary Wizard, if a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time, so basically panharmonic and for wizards and a nice foil lana elves that actually looks pretty cool the way the foiling plays on the blades like I said they've done a very good job on the foiling right, it's got a rescue healing grace get you journey mage Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, Arcane Flight, Blood Tallow Candle, Academy Journey Mage, Wind Grace Acolyte, and Keldon Raider. Then Icy Manipulator, MVP of the entire pre release weekend. Uh, four mana for an artifact, pay one, tap it. Tap target artifact creature or land. Um, like I said earlier, you can get some awesome combos with Voltaic Servant, uh, causing the Icy Manipulator to untap which is always good. Uh, Song of Freilies, this is going to be great in, in Constructed, I think. Um, it was amazing at the pre-release. Basically won me a few games by itself. Um, it's just a solid saga. And then Garner the Blood Flame. And Verdant Force. So at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. 8 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, but it's 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven that generates a 1-1 one, one if it doesn't die by the end of turn. So, not too bad. Not amazing, but it is a reprint. So. <laughs> it can't be that bad if they've reprinted it, right? Several times. I think that just means it's a fair card. Um, got Charge, Gitty Jenny Mage, Lanner of Scout, Dredge Sentinel, Rescue, Sarah Disciple, Power Stone Shard, Ancient Animus, Gideon's Reproach, and Guardians of Koilos. Then we're on to Spore Swarm, Goblin Warchief, Urgros the Empty One, and Goblin Chain Whirler. I do like the artwork on this, I kind of want to see it in foil. Um, 3 mana, 3-3 three, three with first strike, and when it enters the battlefield it deals 1 damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Um, that's actually not too bad. The fact it's a 3-3 with first strike as well. Then you've got the age-old argument that it dies to fatal push. Um, Kill the war, uh, war caller. Corrosive Ooze, Soul Salvage, Befuddle, Charge, Bloodstone Goblin, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Gift of Growth, Guardian of Coilus, and Fungal Infection. Then we've got Fungal Plots, Memorial to Genius, Slinvoda, The Rising Deep, and Helm of the Host. So four mana legendary artifact equipment. Uh, equip for five, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary if equipped creature is legendary. That token gains haste. Um, it's quite cool because you can just have all those like trigger effects on the legendary creatures um, multiple times, and you've just got token copies of them. Uh, it's a little slow, but... It's 
It's good to see playing Commander, put it that way. Commander, where you have so much mana to sink. Um, Lano Envoy, Cabal Evangels, Syncopate, Sarah Disciple, Skirk Prospector, Grow from the Ashes, Jousting Lance, Bale of the Gorgia, and Call the Cavalry. And finally, Power Stone Shard. Then we've got Sage of Latnam, uh, Juggernaut, Goblin Barrage, and another Ariel. That's a nice quick pack. Bloodstone Goblin, Arbor Armament, Caligo Skin Witch, Unwind, Excavation Elephant, Gitu Chronicler, Deathbloom Thalid, Rampaging Cyclops, Mesa Unicorn, and a Voltaic Servant. Then we've got Memorial to War. Uh, this is. Everybody wants this, apparently. Um, so, enters tapped. Tap it to add red. And pay four, tap it, sack it, and destroy target land. Um, yeah, I can see why everybody wants it. Untamed Carvu and Wrath Compassion Ship's Mage. I do like this card. So four mana, three, three with flash and flying, and you can cast historical spells as though they had flash. Um, this is just very good. Uh, and then we have the first eruption. I've just realized I may have actually put a rare in uh, the uncommon pile earlier. Oh well. So first, because I feel this is the second eruption, first, second, second, first eruption that we've seen. Um, so three mana. Um, for a saga, first eruption deals one damage to each creature without flying uh, on stage one. Then stage two is add two red, and then stage three is sack a mountain. If you do, the first eruption deals three damage to each creature. Um, not great, I would say. Could be. I, I, it feels like it's really easy to play around that. <laughs> By like not playing things or just you know swing in to kill off some of your creatures. Um, Sergeant at Arms, Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Allied Omnivore, uh, Valdalian Arcanist, uh, Invoke the Divine, Yavimir Shepherd, Sparring Construct, and Divination, Demonic Vigor, another Memorial to War, Ligering Phantom, Sarah Angel, which is back, which is cool, and Grand Warlord Radar. So four mana, so two, a red and a green. For a three, four legendary elf warrior with haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red and or green until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Uh, the ultimate ramp card, I guess. It's pretty cool. So it means you can finally Get that damage in with your Lana or Elf and still generate mana. Uh, Gitu Chronicler, Lana the Scout, Rat Colony, Befuddle, Banalish, Honor Guard, Run Amok, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Lana or Elves, Macy Unicorn, and on to Uncommons, Sage of Latnam, Thorn Elemental, Quende, Pride of Femoret, Femoret, like, yeah, that card, and Fall of Thran is our rare in the pack, so six mana, destroy all lands. Um, yeah, cool. Then uh, stage two and three is each player returns two land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Um, yeah, there's going to be some crazy strategies in Commander with that. A uh, nice foil island. I'm sure someone's going to be like, you know, with this, float a bunch of mana, um, destroy all the lands using some of it, and then with the extra floated mana, just be like, okay, exile all your gold cards from your graveyard. Um, Rat Colony, Rescue, Healing Grace, Gizu Journey Mage, Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, Vicious Offering, Deep Freeze, Deathbloom Thalid, and Sapling Migration. We've got Triumph of Gerard. Lingering Phantom and Tiana, Ship's Caretaker. And the rare is Mishra's Self Replicator, so 5 mana, 2-2 uh, two, two Artifact Assembly Worker. Uh, whenever you cast a Historic Spell, you can pay 1 if you do create a token that's a copy of this. So get your army of 2-2s two going for the low, low cost of 5 mana. 
and then one mana every time you want to trigger it. Oh, God, these packs. What is up with their sealing method these days? Um, Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, Myriad Explorer, Invoke the Divine, Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Blink of an Eye, Skittering Surveyor, Gift of Growth, and onto Uncommons, Knight of Malice, The Flame of Keld, on Sarah's Wings, this was so annoying during pre release. And our rare is Evra, Halicon Witness, so 6 mana 4 4 with lifelink. He is a legendary creature. And you can pay 4, exchange your life total with Evra, Halicon Witness's power. Um, yeah, I mean, you can easily die uh, with the trigger on the stack, put it that way. But if you don't, <laughs> um, you can be swinging in, just swinging in big, basically. Um, so, yeah. Quite a cool card. And a nice foil Torgar Famine Incarnate. That does look very nice in foil. So 8 mana, 7, 6, a legendary avatar creature. Uh, as an additional cost to cast this spell, you can sack any number of creatures. This spell costs 2 less for each creature sacrificed this way. So sacrifice 3, he costs 2 black for a 7, 6. And when it enters the battlefield, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total rounded up. Um... Yeah, think of it like Alex Straza in Hearthstone. Um, just set you know, your opponent's life total down. Granted, if you've got the creatures to sacrifice, you'd probably only be taking them down a couple of life, but still, it's technically damage. Um, or if you're really low, you can bring yourself back up to 10. Arcane Plight, Sergeant Arms, Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Pallid Omnivore, Valdalian Arcanist, Eviscerate, Pardic Wanderer, and Gideon's Reproach, and a Yavimaya Shepherd. Uh, Howling Golem, Skizik, Quende, and a Gilded Lotus. Nice. So five mana artifact. Tap it at three mana of any one colour. Um, solid, really. Not really sure how much standard play it's going to see. Um, it will certainly see a lot of play in Commander. Blessing of Bells and Lock, Relic Runner, Knight of New Penalia, Frenzied Rage, Feral Abomination, Arbor Armament, Fire Intervention, Short Sword, Shivan Fire, and Wind Grace Acolyte. We've got Spore Crown Thalid, The Eldest Reborn, Slim of the Rising Deep and Kamal's Druidic Vow as our rare, so two green and X for legendary sorcery, so legendary sorcery, you can only cast it if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Look at the top X cards of your library, you may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest into your graveyard. Um, so, good and bad, because it's only legendary permanent cards um, that you can actually put into the battlefield and land so any of those extra things not so good but great if you just want to get stuff into the graveyard so skirk prospector corrosive ooze soul salvage syncopate adamant will seismic shift Short Sword, Ship and Fire, Sapling Migration, and Avon Sentry. Then we've got Chainer's Torment, Imbolus's Clutches, Rona, Disciple of Gix, and Two Headed Giant. So, four mana, two and two red for a 4 4 giant. Uh, whenever Two Headed Giant attacks, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, Two Headed Giant gains Double Strike until end of turn. If both coins come up tails, it gains Menace. Um, so, if you get one of each, then it's just a 4 4 because they can't decide. Very flavorful. But when those giants, you know, when they agree on something, those two heads, bad stuff happens for your opponent. Uh, Primordial Worm, Dark Bargain, Arcane Flight, Dub, Frenzied Rage, Gaia's Protector, Academy Drake, Death Bloom Thalid, Pardic Wanderer, Fiery Intervention, yeah. An Orcish Vandal, Song of Frailies, Ungross the Empty One, and a Sulphur Falls. Nice. So it should be due a couple of 
mythics in a second. I'd hope so anyway. Stronghold Confessor, Artificer's Assistant, Sergeant Arms. I'm just skipping these because we've seen pretty much every common in this set, I think. Uh, Board the Weatherlight, Goblin Barrage, Garner the Blood Flame, and a Tempest Gin. So, three blue for a zero four with flying, and it gets plus one plus over each basic island you control. No, it says basic island and not just island. So, no shenanigans in modern. I'm gonna go from the bottom on this one. That. What is happening with this pack? Oh my god. Okay, got divest. Oh yeah, I was skipping the commons now, wasn't I? On to Knight of Grace, Juris Familiar, Imbolus's Clutches, and a Varix Blade Wing. Nice. So, two and two red for a 4 4 legendary dragon with kicker three. It also has flying because it's a dragon. Um, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create Karox Blade Wing, a legendary 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying. So, it's solid mid game, 4 4 flyer for four. Um, and late game, seven mana for two four fours with flying. It's one of the few really, really good kicker cards, I would say, in the set. Because uh, kicker's great and all, but, you know, some of them, the payoff for paying the kicker cost isn't amazing. Let's just skip to sell the score. Icy Manipulator, Weight of Memory, and Squee the Immortal. So he gets around all the removal. Uh, so 1 and 2 red for a 2 1 legendary goblin creature, and you can cast him from your graveyard or from exile or from your hand. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's always coming back. Then we've got a Plains and a Fire Elemental in foil. That looks very nice. And I've just realized I probably put Varix in the wrong pile. I did. So again, just skipping the commons. Uh, Gaius Blessing, Five Fist Adept, Raf Compassion, and Siege Gang Commander. Another nice reprint. So three and two red for a two two. Uh, Goblin, when it enters, get three one one red goblin creature tokens and you can pay two sacrifice a goblin and it deals two damage to any target oh and there just there's the Karak's blade wing token which looks pretty awesome actually so skip 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 Oh, Memorial to Glory, uh, Wild Onslaught, Grun the Lonely King, and Territorial Allosaurus. So two and two green for a 5-5. Five, five. That's already amazing. Um, and you can pay a kicker of a green and two. And if it was kicked, it fights another target creature. Yeah. Solid card. Like solid stats for the mana cost. Skip, 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 skip. Uh, got a shield of the Realm. Wild Onslaught, another Wrath, and the Hinterland Harbor. Sorry if the sound of the packs is rather loud there. Uh, again, skipping, skipping, skipping. Uh, Champion of the Flame. Board the Weatherlight, Wizard's Lightning, and Kazarov Sengir Pureblood. Uh, 7 mana 4-4 four, four with flying. Whenever a creature opponent controls is dealt damage, put plus 1 plus 1 counter on Kazarov. Um, you can pay 3 and a red, and it deals 2 damage to target creature. Uh, during pre-release, I had a 21-21 Kazarov. Um, and I still lost the game to a 34-34 trampling stupid thing with the black blade on it. <laughs> It was a pretty funny game. I didn't mind losing to that, to be honest. Skip, skip, skip. 
Um, yep. So Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Memorial to Folly, Halar the Fire Fletcher, and a Benelish Marshal is our rare, so three white for a three three. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one. Um, just solid anthem effect there. And yeah, I think we've seen all of them now. We'll be maybe missing now we're missing the green one. We haven't seen the green like three of a certain colour one. And on to the last pack. Um Fairly sure there should be a mythic in this pack unless I've managed to miss a mythic. Um, Short sword, Merfolk trickster, Dauntless. Okay, yeah. Haven't seen any of these yet, weirdly. So Merfolk trickster is going to see a lot of play. Um, yeah, two mana, well, two two with flash, and when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls, it loses all abilities until end of turn. Um, awesome combat trick for Merfolk. Dauntless bodyguard, and Yargle. Then we got. I must have missed a mythic somewhere because we've only had three in the box. I swear you're supposed to get like four at least. Uh, the Antiquities War. So look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Um, and then that's stage one and two. Then stage three is artifacts you control become artifact creatures with base power and toughness five five until end of turn. So kind of like a um, Tesseret effect. And it's four mana, so it's not too bad. And an island and a sapling. I'm, I feel like I may have missed a mythic. Let's go through and see if I just randomly missed a mythic. Unless I, I... No, I didn't. Okay then. Wow. So I've just got like the two really early and then... Varex. Oh. Um, yeah, strange. Oh well. So, that was the box. Um, remember, you can buy and sell any of the cards you've seen in this video on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Um, stay tuned for more Dominaria unboxing videos. We'll be doing all of the products that are coming out for Dominaria. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.